Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the importance of exercise during menopause and that's from perimenopause on through the whole of your postmenopause years. Now exercise is one of those basic things that we are encouraged to do throughout the whole of our lives. It doesn't matter what phase of our lives we're in. But when we reach perimenopause and the years after, it does actually become even more important probably than it did in the years before. And the reason for this is symptom control. Regular exercise can really make a big difference to how many symptoms you get, the intensity of your symptoms and actually coping with your symptoms and symptoms during menopause are not just physical symptoms but psychological symptoms too. So I'm telling you, oh, you know, get plenty of regular exercise but I'm not telling you to take up marathon running or go pump weights at a gym or to be running around, you know, like crazy all day. Uh, trying to you know get healthier it doesn't mean that at all but keeping your exercise regular is actually the main thing so if you can do 30 minutes of moderate exercise at least five times a week you should notice a big difference in not just how you feel but possibly how you look, because obviously it can help uh, keep your weight under control, which is a common problem for women, particularly once they hit perimenopause years. A lot of us find we start piling on the pounds, even though we haven't been indulging in too, you know, too many naughty snacks. So 30 minutes, at least five times a week, moderate exercise. I, I walk, that's what I do. I do brisk walking. I don't try and run. I've never been a runner. So I go for walking. I've never been somebody for going to the gym, but I can go walking. So that is my exercise of choice. I do try to also include a little bit of the pushing and pulling and lugging stuff, you know, the resistance type exercises um, for my bones. But my main exercise is walking. So it's entirely up to you what exercise you choose to do. You might want to run a marathon, you might want to go to a Zumba class, or you might prefer to exercise in your own living room, get you know a fun Keep Fit DVD. It doesn't matter what you do, and it doesn't matter in how many bits and pieces you do it. You can break it up. You can do a couple of 15 minute sections each of your five days, or you might do, I don't know, a 10 minute walk on your lunch break at work and then come home and perhaps early evening, do one of your keep it videos or go swimming or go for a bike ride or go for a walk. You can mix it up to keep it more interesting. So it's not just your symptoms that it can help. It does really help with the easing off of the hot flushes and the night sweats and it does help you sleep. It also helps your mindset and it helps to relieve stress but it's also good for your heart health and heart problems do become more common for women once they're in their postmenopause years so you're going to be doing your heart some good you're going to be helping to keep your bones nice and strong because osteoporosis is another um, symptom that can appear particularly in postmenopause years so if you're keeping them strong once you start going through perimenopause then you've got less chance of developing osteoporosis in your postmenopause years. It also helps to keep your cholesterol level under control. I have a problem with my cholesterol level. It is too high and I have been offered medication for that, but I am working on doing it through diet and exercise. If I can do it that way, then I think I'll feel a lot happier about that. But if you prefer to take the medication then that's fine too keeping that cholesterol down is the important thing so i've already mentioned the reduction in the night sweats and hot flushes regular exercise is really good for that and again i've mentioned weight control which as i say is is another part that's something i also i also have a bit of a problem with uh, thickening around the waistline so part of my really brisk walking is trying to keep that under control and I find it really does help. Stress relief, I think I've actually mentioned that as well. But exercise 
gives you that feel good factor. It releases those feel good hormones into the brain. So it does help to relieve the stress. It helps to lower anxiety levels. And a lot of us find during our menopause years that anxiety can rear its ugly head quite frequently. So getting out and about and getting some fresh air with the exercise helps the anxiety particularly if you can get out in green spaces whether there's trees and grass absolutely brilliant for anxiety and you're also including it in your exercise as well so obviously then it lifts your mood low mood another one of those symptoms getting out and getting that feel good factor exercise makes you feel good about yourself because you've put the effort in and you've gone and done it you've achieved something okay i've only got a spare half an hour but i've gone i've gone for a really brisk walk and now i feel a lot better for it so on a psychological level exercise is really beneficial during perimenopause and onwards and also it has general all-round benefits so if you're getting regular exercise Obviously a healthy diet added to this makes a big difference too, but if you're getting enough exercise, like I say, you don't have to go crazy, but if you're getting enough exercise regularly, you're getting that all round benefit for your general health, but also for those menopause symptoms that can make your life really difficult. So it is worth putting in that little effort, even if you don't have to push yourself a bit to start with, because you do find with exercise it's a funny thing if you push yourself to start with then you get the benefits you get that feel good factor and it makes you more inclined to go back out the next day and do it again so it really is uh, all round beneficial and definitely for those menopause symptoms that sometimes can actually make your life difficult so I hope you find that helpful. If you'd like to know when I'm putting more videos on the channel, there's a notification bell below the video. There's also a subscribe button there too if you'd like to subscribe. Thank you for listening to me and I will see you again soon.